This first video was captured in the middle of the night at an apartment complex in Toledo O. The doorbell footage shows a man knocking on the front door with what looks like a firearm in his waistband. Now, the owner of the apartment didn't recognize the man, so she would question who it was. The unknown man would simply respond with it's me. The homeowner would then further question his response, but rather than clarifying, he would simply give a way through the front door. However, it would not be enough to get the home order to open it, so you would ultimately walk off. Disturbingly, as he does so, a second man pops up from a nearby dumpster and also walks off. But this wouldn't be the end of it. The two would then walk around to the back door, where they would attempt to pick its lock. The police were called, and when they arrived the two were gone, fortunately, unsuccessful in getting the door open. It's not 100% clear what the two-minute planned. The almost empty-looking backpack at the first guy suggests they had planned to rob the place, but it's also possible they had much worse intentions. The two of them have yet to be identified by police. The homeowner in Texas would wake up one morning to find the gate into his backyard wide open. Curious, the man would review the cameras he had around his house, and this is the sign he was met with. A man holding a knife and an Akam costume, complete with the suit and mask, casually walks around the property, looking inside the house and testing all the doors. This will of course take place in 2016, during that sort of killer clown craze that went on for a few months. Looking back, most people that participated in that were most likely just having fun trying to scare people. But there's no denying that others took advantage of the situation, genuinely attempting some pretty horrific crimes hidden under a clown mask, with this likely being one of those cases. It's clear the person in the costume is actually trying to break into the house with a knife. Though after being unsuccessful, the clown would eventually walk off, and despite a police report, that would be the end of it. Ultimately, the homeowner would be left with nothing but this disturbing footage. This footage was captured in Colorado in the middle of the night. The issue three mountain lions appearing from the darkness and starting to walk around a set of houses they were captured even going as far as to walk up onto the porch of one of the houses. Mountain lion sightings are known to be exceptionally rare in this specific area. Typically, they'll stay a lot further in the mountains where they have easier access to the deer that they prey on. To see them in an area with a lot of people, especially in the neighborhood, is not at all <laughs> common, at least in this area. The three cans would eventually walk off but there are almost no doubt things would have gone differently had one of these homeowners left their pets outside for the night, or possibly uh -huh. were even outside themselves. This doorbell camera footage was captured in Overland Park, KS, in March of 2017. Shown in the video is a nearby active house fire. The home of the neighborhood just across the street has been completely engulfed in flames. As the fire department arrives, Neighbors can be seen desperately moving their parked cars away from the house. The 
Eventually, a flaming piece of debris can be seen falling and landing on a set of bushes just in front of the camera. The bushes quickly burst into flames. The fire starts spreading quickly, but before it's able to get out of hand, a neighbor notices it and attempts to put it out. He grabs a garden hose and sprays the fire while pressing the house's doorbell. However, the owner of the house isn't home and frantically tries to communicate this through the doorbell speaker. In the end, the fire department would be able to put out the house fire and, with help from the neighbors, prevent it from spreading to nearby houses. This video was posted by Doordal News in September of 2022. Come on man, I got to take a dump. Please let me in. Come on, come on, I am going to crap my pants. There was no reply from the homeowner. The guy went into the street and started looking for a lift. Then he comes again and starts pounding on the door. He gets aggressive and starts yelling. The homeowner called the police. <laughs> I don't know what he was looking for, but it was bizarre behavior. Historical footage was recorded just before 4 o'clock a.m. on a night in August 2020. The video captures an unidentified man walking in front of a house and emptying a gas container over the yard and front porch. Shortly after he disappears off screen, a large fire erupts just in front of the camera. Engine 5, dispatch. Pockets of fire all over. No one would be injured during the incident, however. Unfortunately, two houses and a vehicle would be damaged. The homeowner would claim to have no idea who could be responsible or who would even consider doing this to them. At least from an outside perspective, the act looks completely random with seemingly no reason behind it, making the clip all the more unsettling. On a night in September of 2021, a homeowner would get a suspicious knock on his door at about 3 o'clock in the morning. Upon opening his phone and looking at his doorbell camera, he would see two would look like teenagers identifying themselves as CPD or Columbus Police Department. Get back, dumbass. Can you not see that camera right there, mate? Hey, come on, we just want to play. The video shows the man in the front clearly holding a firearm, and the house sitter would eventually access the doorbell camera speaker to further question him. Can I help you? CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. I'm sorry? CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. May you please step to the front door, please? CPD. Yes, this is CPD. We would like you to step to the door, please. You think I'm dumb cracker? Get the hell out of here before I bust a cup in your ass. 
The man refuses to show a badge because, well, obviously, he doesn't have one. The homeowner knew what was going on, so rather than stepping to the door, he would call the real police department and report two armed men at his front door. After a couple of minutes, the two would once again attempt to get the homeowner to open the door. But after that failed, and they would run off before the real police could show up. Open the door. Okay, I want you stupid. The two were most likely just looking to rob the man when he opened the door. But I mean, it's possible they had worse intentions in mind. There's just no way of knowing for sure. Both of them were never identified by police. In May of 2018, a woman would leave her parts car that was just outside her house unlocked overnight. Not surprisingly, someone would find the unlocked car and proceed to steal multiple items that were owned by the woman. A few hours later, the man responsible for the theft would be caught on the woman's doorbell camera attempting to use her set of keys that he had just stolen to unlock her house's front door. Hey stupid, I see you on the camera. You're so dumb. If you do come in, you're going to be very sorry. This all took place while a house owner was home. In but luckily, the set of keys he had stolen didn't have a house key on it. So the guy just ended up walking off. Had the set of keys contained a house key, things most likely would have ended much differently. Shown in this doorbell camera footage is an unknown man wearing an oddly disturbing mask. As he walks up to the door, his emotions alert the camera to start recording. And that's when you can see him grab the door handle, realize it's locked, and hesitantly knock on the door. The man would wait for only a few seconds before he would pull his sleeve over his hand and wipe off his fingerprints from the door handle before walking off. Around a minute later, the homeowner would come to the door and now see the man across the street sitting in a car. When she yelled down to him to see what he wanted, he would quickly speed off. The homeowner would later state that she had no idea who this man could have been or what he was doing there. The fact that he removed his own fingerprints from the door handle suggests that he had most likely given them to the police at some point. It's not completely unreasonable to conclude that this man had some sort of criminal record. Something else of note is that someone's heavy object can be seen weighing down his front pocket. It's not clear what this is, and more importantly, it's not clear who this man is. The mask would ultimately make it impossible for police to identify both the man's identity and his intentions. In July of 2021, Amanda Nowick updated her Facebook with an alarming video. She took this video from her ring doorbell as she set in for sleep. Someone rang her doorbell. She checked the app only to see a man with gray hair and a full-grown gray beard presently knocking on her door and ringing the bell. Amanda didn't recognize this man, so she ignored the knocking, but the stranger didn't leave. As well as knocking, he kept repeating he wanted to talk to her and had questions for her. Go away. Are you sure? Yes, stupid. I just rang the doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Go away. I'm not putting out. Are you sure? How many times do I have to tell you? I just ran your door, though, because I have a couple of questions. Are you sure? I, 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 uh, what? Are you sure? I just ran your door, though, because I have a couple of questions for you. Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you sure? 
I'm absolutely certain. When she was home alone, she called her husband to tell him what was happening and called 911. So Amanda's husband accessed the camera from his phone and saw the man. Ignoring him wasn't doing the trick, so he decided to talk to him using the speaker. How are you? What? Yeah? Are you sure? Who are you? I had a couple questions. I just wanted to ask you about other people. Yeah, he was here and Uh, what I'm looking for is the girl that's in the house to come over here because I'm going to take her in. You have to go to the door. You're going to the girl that's on the other side of the store and she lets me in. I, I want to look at her in here to have a nice, a nice. And I just uh, want to knock on the door again. Okay, I have life insurance. After threatening the woman in a stone-cold tone, he's gone. He doesn't even seem scared off. He just leaves. As the man calmly walks away, he continues to talk to himself down the street. Amanda was terrified, but she feared this man might move to another house and hurt someone. So she took the creepy footage and posted it on Facebook. And it was thanks to this Facebook post that this man was arrested.